one who learns to use these tools by choice, deftly, will naturally become a very impactful human being. A human being is just a possibility. You can make him into a higher possibility. If this has to happen, we need to sharpen the tools a little bit. Sadhana Pada means Sadhana means uh, tools, Pada means a period when we prepare the tools. What tools do we have? Well, if you're a nutcase, you may be carrying a screwdriver or a spanner. Hello? Otherwise, as a human being, the only tools that you have is uh, your body, your mind and your energies. These are all the tools you have. One who learns to use these tools by choice, deftly, will naturally become a very impactful human being. One who does not learn to use either body, mind or energies consciously and skillfully, they will always think the world is unfair, oh, somebody else is lucky, I am more intelligent than him, but everybody is partial to him. You've heard these stories all along. You can be a failure in your life with lots of explanations and philosophies attached, or you can just be a successful human being. That's all the choice is. Hmm? That's all the choice is. Those who don't do well with themselves or with the world, always have complaints. I have become like this because my father uh, was not nice to me. When you're so lousy, how could he be nice to you? Hmm? I'm not nine to nine, uh, trying to be nasty to you, but if you at a young age are nasty and lousy, your father should be doubly nasty and lousy. For his age, I'm saying, <laughs> hello? Gone through much more life than you, isn't it? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Maybe life battered him much more than you. And he also had to bear with you. This one thing, if you want to do sadhana, if you want to learn to use these three basic tools effectively in your life of body, mind and en energy, first and foremost thing we've been rubbing it, rubbing it into you from the first day in Inner Engineering that uh, Whatever happens, good happens, bad happens, beautiful things happen, nasty things happen, within me, outside of me, it's just me. Hmm? Okay? Hello? Have you fixed that one thing with yourself? If I make it, it's me. If I don't make it, it's me. Have you fixed this? Sadhguru, we thought you will do it for us <laughs> 
early on in one's life, one must fix this, that you are never the problem in your life. Your body, your mind, your energies are never the problem. Ah, outside there'll be some problems, but we can manage them if this is not a problem. Huh? When this is going to become a problem in every challenging situation in your life, then all you will do is avoid challenges. If you avoid challenges, you will avoid all the possibilities of life. You will just become tairasadam. Are they giving you tairasadam? Hope not, okay. See, everybody knew it causes dullness. In Tamil Nadu, primary school, high school, teachers, always see if somebody is very dull, they say, Enna tair sadhan saapta vandiya. That means, have you eaten curd rice and come? So they knew it causes dullness. But not only the students ate and came, the teacher also ate and came. So, See, dullness is a wonderful thing. It avoids many problems because you won't even know there is a problem. <laughs> it takes some intelligence to see what's wrong. Everything is okay. There are two ways to be free of trouble. Someone said, I don't remember who, someone said, uh, angels are untouched by problems because of their brilliance. And animals are untouched by problems because of lack of it. But a man hangs in between and struggles because he is still a possibility, not at a reality. A human being is just a possibility. You can make him into a higher possibility or you can push him down into lower possibility. This essentially depends upon how effectively can you use your body, your mind and your energies. Will you use them or will they use you? This is a question. When I say, will they use you, without any prejudice, without any looking down upon people, just simply carefully look at what are people's lives committed to? Most people's lives on the planet are just committed to servicing their body, servicing their psychological needs, emotional needs, that's about it. Hello? Their whole life is arranged just for this. You may call this business, you may call this career, you may call this family, you may call this home, but just to service the needs, physiological and psychological needs, whole life's arrangements are made, isn't it? You please tell me, I'll go by your opinion. You… you're not believing me. That's right <laughs> This… this physiology and this psychology is here to serve you or for you to serve them. They're supposed to serve us, but uh, most human beings are serving them their entire life. When they're eating breakfast, they're planning their lunch. When they're eating their lunch, they're planning their dinner. Like this, it's all about food, shelter, security, emotions for each other, whatever. Essentially, 
for physiological and psychological needs, the whole life is structured around that. Well, this is called normal life. So my intention is you must become abnormal, that you use your body and your mind for enhancement of this life, not to enslavement of this life. If this has to happen, we need to sharpen the tools a little bit. Otherwise morning, five o'clock, body say nonsense, set up and sleep. I thought people who want to die go like this. But people want to live who go like this, what is that? <laughs> Hello? Those who want to die will close their eyes and those who want to live uh, should be up to catch the, the first rays of sun before it hits the planet. Huh? You must be the first one to catch us, catch us the sun rays, not the insects, not the birds, not the blades of grass. You must be the first one to get it. Well, just every day for next two weeks, just get the first rays of sun on your body and see what happens to you. You will live a different kind of life altogether.